Mom, can I mark the school concert on the calendar myself? Of course. I see you've picked your favorite color. That's so we won't forget. Mom, what's this red heart for? Father's of my anniversary. It's a day we were married, so we always celebrate it. Really? Are we having a party? I know a really good game we could play. It's called Guess What This Dance Is Called. I made it up. Watch. Now you try it. Oh. <laughs> that might be better for another party. We're just going to go out to a restaurant to celebrate our anniversary. Oh. Maybe the people at the restaurant will want to play the game with us. Sorry, honey. I meant to say Daddy and I are going out to dinner. You and the boys will be staying home. Just me and the boys? Tonight, boys, since I'm in charge, we will be having a very special dinner. Olivia style. So please, have a seat. Where? How can we have dinner if there's not any food? Be patient, Monsieur Ian. First, I need to set the mood. My stomach is growling. What are we going to eat? Ta-da! <gasps> no way, cupcakes. I wish you could be in charge all the time, Olivia. Maybe you should mention that to Mom and Dad. Yes, you and the boys will be home with the babysitter. Grandma's coming? No, Grandma's away on one of her adventures. <sighs> we have to find someone else. I'm meeting with several people this afternoon to find just the right person to stay with you. As you can see by my credentials, I have taken care of children for 33 years. Oh, well, that's quite a relief. You must enjoy your job. Tremendously. She smells like soap. That can't be a good thing. Shh. I want to hear what she says about bedtime. How do you feel about schedules, Mrs. Berkshire? Oh, I believe in keeping to a very strict schedule. First, a very small dinner, so as not to upset young tummies, followed by a long bath. I knew it. And naturally, I stick to the one book per night rule. Only one book? Who said that? Oh, I didn't see that cat. That's just Edwin. He never moves. I'm Olivia. Only one book? Sometimes I have 11 or 12 books at bedtime. Olivia? Perry! Oh! Give me back my airplane! Uh, uh. Oops. Sorry, uh, Perry likes to chew the children's toys. Really, there's no need to explain. Twelve books at bedtime. Cats, little boys wrestling with dogs. Uh, I'm afraid to inform you that I'm no longer interested in the job. Well, tell me about yourself, Lily. Do you have experience babysitting children? Oh, sure, lots. I love kids. As a matter of fact, I have 15 cousins. <laughs> well, actually, some of them aren't real cousins, but, you know, they're friends of the family. Let's see, um, well, I'm 15. I go to River Valley High. Rah, rah, River Valley, River Valley High! <laughs> you know the cheer. Uh, do, do you think you can handle two children and a baby? Well, I once took care of three kids and their pet lizard, which was really gross. The lizard, not the kids. <laughs> Do you think kids should be allowed to jump on the furniture? Who are you? This is my daughter, Olivia. Olivia, please apologize to Lily for scaring her. Sorry, Lily. I like your outfit. Oh, you do? Thanks. I like yours, too. She's perfect. You should hire her. Don't you have any more questions? I do. Ah! Do you like dogs? <whistles> oh, no. Let me guess. You're no longer interested in the job? Uh, well, it's just that, uh... <laughs> I'm allergic to dogs. I had no luck finding a babysitter, so I canceled our reservation for dinner tonight. Well, then, we'll just celebrate our anniversary at home this year, honey. Celebrate at home. 
Ian, we have to make our restaurant just like the fancy restaurant where Mom and Dad were supposed to go for their anniversary. And I can make them my special peanut butter and pickle sandwiches. We just need a centerpiece. What's that? What fancy places have on the table for decoration, like shells or flowers or... How about a flying saucer? Ian, that's not a good centerpiece. Why not? It makes ten different sounds. Of course! It'll be like they're having dinner on a whole new planet! <laughs> Table for two? I think you'll enjoy the view. On Planet Olivia! What a beautiful restaurant. Oh, I can see the entire solar system. If you look past that little pink planet and count three stars over, you'll see our planet, Earth. You're right, there it is. Planet Olivia Cheese Toast? It was voted best in the universe. And such an appealing color. All the food is red on Planet Olivia. And now for your entertainment. This is the best anniversary ever. And that's not all. I saved the best for last. What are you doing here? <laughs> you didn't think I was going to let you stay home on your anniversary, did you? But I thought you were away climbing Mount Everest. Oh, Mount Everest can wait. It's not going anywhere. Now you two better scoot if you're going to make your reservation. But I canceled... We're back on for, oh, 20 minutes from now. Then double scoot. Happy anniversary. Bye. Bye-bye, kids. Listen to Grandma. Now that my flying saucer doesn't have to be a centerpiece, I can play with it. Centerpiece? What's that all about? I wanted to do something special for Mom and Dad's anniversary, so I made them a restaurant outside. Ah, and now that I'm here to babysit you, you don't get to show them your surprise. Oh, Grandma, I didn't mean it like that. You're the best babysitter ever. Well, maybe there's some other surprise you can do for your Mom and Dad when they get home. Or... We could go to the restaurant and surprise them there. I like the way you think. Here's the restaurant. It's not like I imagined. Me neither, but I'm sure it has its charms. Grandma, do you think... <laughs> I'll ask the owner. In the world? Happy, Happy anniversary. anniversary! Yay! Way to go, Mom! Way to go, Dad! We've been coming to this place every year since we met. I hope you don't mind us crashing your party. Mind? Not at all! In fact, I think from now on we'll all be coming back here on our anniversary, huh? Sit down, everyone. Come on. If it's okay with you, I'll just have one book tonight. One book? Is this my Olivia? It's just that I'm really, really tired. Well, then you really, really need to go to sleep. And thank you for that wonderful anniversary surprise. <sighs> Did you like it? I loved it. Good night, sweet dreams. Good night, Livy. Night. Pinto beans, garbanzo beans, beans that kids should never have to eat beans. Mom, can we buy corn instead? 
<laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a cuter child. He should be in the movies. He is a handsome one. I think I'll keep him. <coughs> Mom! Uh, yes, Olivia? Can we buy corn instead of beans? Uh, of course. Pick out a can. Olivia, what should we do? This one has a toy race car inside, but the cereal's got those gross marshmallow things we don't like. And this one has a toy zebra, but the cereal gets too soggy. Keep looking, Ian. There's got to be something better. You're right. Mom, what's creamed corn? Oh, do 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 do. Isn't he darling? Oh, thank you. Mom. Yes, Olivia. What's creamed corn? Uh, something that upsets your father's stomach. Just get a can of regular corn. Look at those dimples. And that smile. Oh, and what a nose. You must be one happy mother. <sighs> okay, what's better? Chocolate oat crunchies, even if it doesn't come with a toy. Just something called fiber. Or honey puffed rice with free stick on tattoos. Ian, I can't think about cereal right now. I've decided I'm going to be a mommy. And I've got a lot to do. Who's mommy's pretty baby? Hello, Olivia. Hello, is there any mail for me? Or my baby, little Olivia? Oh my goodness, what an adorable baby you have, Olivia. Yes, he is cute. I think I'll keep him. Bye, little Olivia. Hi, Mrs. Hoggenmuller. I might be late for school tomorrow. I have a baby now. Oh, isn't he a vision of loveliness? Thank you. Gucci, Gucci, go! Wow, look at that precious wet nose! He got that from his father's side of the family. Uh. He got that from his father's side, too. Excuse me, Mrs. Hagenmuller, but it's his nap time. That one. No, that one. Wait, I'll take that one. Another. Wait here, Edwin. What would Mommy's favorite babies like to do today? That's a great idea, little Olivia. We'll go to the park. Little Olivia? Oh, hello, Francine. I didn't see you there. I was talking to my babies, little Olivia and little Olivia, too. They're such a handful. Can I see? Oh my gosh, they're so cute! Would you like to be a mommy, too? Of course I would. Here, Gwendolyn! Olivia, meet Franny, my baby. Hello, Franny. How are you? She's a little fussy today. Maybe she needs a nap. It's not her nap time. I always put her down for a nap at the same time every day. But what if she's tired now? I think I know how to be a mother, Olivia. Oh! Oh, wait! <laughs> Little Olivia, too! Get back in the carriage! What kind of a mommy are you? Your babies are causing trouble. They are not causing trouble. They're just getting their exercise. Gwendolyn, I, I mean Franny, come back to mommy. I'm sorry to say this, Francine, but I think it would be best if Franny didn't play with my babies anymore. Uh... Oh, my God.
No, little Olivia, too. This bottle is for little Olivia. You've had yours. Maybe you need to be burped. <laughs> Am I gonna have to separate you two? Sorry I can't come over, Julian. I just put my babies down for a nap. This is the first chance I've had to color all day. I'll call you later when the kids are up. Olivia, can you do me a favor? Shh, Mommy. I just got them to sleep. <gasps> oh, can I leave you in charge of William for a few minutes while I make an important phone call? You want me to be William's mommy too? <laughs> Well, I just want you to keep an eye on him for a few minutes. Do you think you can do that? Of course. I've got lots of experience being a mommy. Now I'll be in my office if you need me. Phew. William, do you mind if I call you little Olivia 3? How would you like to help mommy color? That's very good, little Olivia 3. I'm going to get you out of here. <gasps> Ian, you woke up my babies! <laughs> Rule of life number 21. Little brothers don't know anything about being a mommy. You kids get back to bed this instant. <laughs> Don't cry, sweeties. Mommy will get to you sooner or later. Aha! Ta-da! Olivia. Looks like you did an excellent job. Whew. I'm glad you're back. Being a mommy is a lot of work. I think I'll wait until I'm old like you. <laughs> and I'm sure when you do become a mommy, you'll be mother of the year. Well, that's all for tonight, Olivia. I can't have one more? No, I've read three already. I always read a hundred books to my babies before they go to sleep. Well, they must be very lucky babies. They are. Are you sure you can't read another book? I'm positive. Now, we need to save some for tomorrow. Sweet dreams, Olivia. I said, Madam Olivia is ready. 
Please sit down while Madame Olivia looks into her crystal ball. Hey, isn't that my bouncy ball? No, it's Madame Olivia's crystal ball. And it's going to show me your future. Huh? You know, your future. What's going to happen to you tomorrow? And the day after that? And the day after that? Ah. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Madame Olivia sees you riding a shiny new bike. <laughs> cool! What else? Madame Olivia sees you at an ice cream shop. <gasps> Got 20,006 flavors. <laughs> and now for my last prediction. I see you at the biggest playground in the world. Madam Olivia, I hope it all happens just like you said. Me too. Okay, now it's my turn to use the crystal ball. Huh? Whoa, whoop. Whoa, whoop. Whoops! Oh! Huh. Hello, children. How was bowling? Did you win? Three important pieces of advice. Teamwork, training, and a good grip. Now you can apply them to almost anything in life. The winning trophy! Wow! It's a beauty, isn't it? Well, I better go give your mother the news. She's probably been on uh, bowling pins and needles all day waiting to hear. <laughs> Get it? Bowling. <laughs> You're so young. The crystal ball like that? I'd be the best fortune teller in the world. Our next guest is Madame Olivia, the best fortune teller in the world. I see someone small, dark, and hairy in your future. Why, that must be Zippy, my next guest. I hope you like roller coasters. Hmm. <gasps> I just want a trip to an amusement park. Just as Madame Olivia predicted, you should see me predict the weather. Mostly sunny with a chance of thunderstorms right about... Now. It's my turn to be the fortune teller. No, mine. Uh, 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 whoa. Now look what you did. Oops. Madame Olivia predicts somebody's going to get in big trouble. Hey, what was all that noise? Oh, no, my brand new trophy. Uh, hope it didn't break. Huh? William? Did you break it? <gasps> okay, son. Looks like you need to spend a little time behind bars. Wow, William's in big trouble. Your fortune telling came true. Of course. But we'll have to tell Dad we're the ones who wrecked his trophy. We will? Then it's going to be us in trouble. Do you want William to be stuck behind bars the rest of his life? <gasps> it's a policeman. He must be here to take William to jail. We've got to hide him. Quick. Uh, hello. There's something important I'd like to talk to you about. You got any more ideas? I hardly ever run out. <laughs> no one will find him now. <laughs> Rule of 
Love Life number four. If you really want to hide your baby brother, change his diaper first. Okay, sweetie pie. Have fun playing with your sister and brother. How are we going to hide William now? I don't know. Let me think. Let me think. I know. Ouch. Quit kicking me, William. <laughs> hey, Ian, stop pulling my ears. Sorry. Of course, we want to cooperate in any way we can. Please wait here. I'll be right back. Oh. Excuse me, but I'm in a terrible Whoa. hurry. I can't be late for my fortune teller's meeting. Uh, fortune teller's meeting? <laughs> uh, that's French for gotta go. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm sure there's a very good explanation for this, Olivia. Let me start at the beginning. And that's the whole truth. It was all Ian's fault. And my fault, too. And actually, I'm the oldest. So take me! Hmm, but how am I going to fit my piano in here? I need it to play my music. Try this. I didn't come here to arrest anyone. I'm selling raffle tickets. You are? That's right, children. Here you go, officer. The winner gets a DVD player and a year's supply of popcorn. Well, I'd better run along. I've got more tickets to sell. Have a nice day. Thank you, officer. Say goodbye, kids. Bye. Goodbye. Let me guess. Time for a little talk. Golly, you really are a fortune teller. So, have you learned anything today? Yes. I learned police officers like popcorn. Hmm. I was thinking more about when accidents happen, it's best to tell the truth. Oh, that too. I'm sorry I broke your trophy, Dad. I didn't mean to. I know, Livy. I've got an idea. Ooh, your sensational super sticky speedy glue. One drop ought to do it. Ha <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> predicts you will read me five books tonight. I think Madame Olivia forgot this is a school night. But Madame Olivia is never wrong. I'll read one tonight, dear. Oh, in that case, Madame Olivia recommends this book. Olivia, this book has five stories in it. I know. <laughs> Olivia, you're... A pretty good fortune teller, huh? <sighs> Good night, Olivia. Good night, Mom. <laughs>